Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lawal, and this is the second part of the Rumble Clone series. And today, you're going to be building the Rumble Clone homepage. Let's get coding. This was exactly where we left in the last part. So let's continue. So, right here is the index page, the first page that's spelled at, um, file. And this is the layout, if you remember. Now what we're going to do is build the header first. So we'll create a component folder and then we'll put the header component there. And we'll do that in this lib folder. And I'll show you it's the um, is exactly why you are doing it in this lib folder in a second. Let me create a component folder here. Component and in here without the header. So header dot start. All right, so let's get to acting. Let's import it inside our layouts. I want the header to be at both the children or the slots. So we'll see header right here. And what you are going to notice is that it comes out with this um, dollar sign lib component header and stuff. It doesn't come with uh, um, something like let's say um, dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot. You understand? And you know that thing usually makes your code very ugly and sometimes hard to read. This is just far better. And we just have this other sign and we get this automatically installed. And every time it puts a file, we put a file out of lib folder. That's why I said with this component in this lib folder. But we have this nice shot um, relative fat. Let's go back to our header. Um, let's go in the header. So we have this um, error thrown right here, but it's very really good. Okay. Now, we'll create an header tag. And this header tag will have a couple of styles. So, class. Class of BGO. Ashton 061726. That I like there. This is also our flex. Our style of flex. An height of 70 pixels. Yeah, it's coming together. We are adding X. That means the pattern X and right of 7, which is 28 pixels. It's until we want to make this ticky. So we'll delete sub 0 and left. Let's zero. Z of 50, Z index got wants to stay in the front. I will say justify between and item center. So let me make my full my screen full screen so you can see everything. And that um preview it on. So these are the styles and the add that current component here. And what we want inside here now is we want to start putting into like logo links inside here. So we'll press a leave first. And this thing is going to wrap our, our bundles logo. This thing would have the uh, image inside in the the image inside it. And I will just say icons. First we'll put the, the bug up as well, not the the icon so i have this um bug icon and i've always it inside this my static folder here so uh, in this icons here i have the bug icon right here now i would need you guys to link to this um folder and the description so you guys can just get all of this and pop it in your static folder as this is inside my static folder i can just um reference it just like this slash icon tab slash bug Okay, let's continue. Let's preview it actually. Maybe I think I see me that's a big boulder right here. And it's like it's in the middle. So let's continue. Let's put um a ish let's put a you know what? Let's put the logo. Let's put the logo right there. Let's add image. 
I would say icon slash rumble label. Rumble.svg. And now we can see we have the rumble. And but you can see it's it's under the burger. But we don't want it to be under the burger, we want it to be sideways. So we'll come to the the um, parents the even the class and we'll put it flex item center and a gap of seven plus one a little gap and let's give that a second okay my flex is starts felix felix flex ah now we have what we want so next thing for us to do is to put the input component so I'll do that by creating another form. And I'll remove this action right here. That new still brought up but emit. But what puts an input inside our form? I'll give this um a placeholder of such. I'll remove this idea because we're not be using this. I would also um, be giving this a class. And the class we'll be giving this be a uh, block. Let's start with a flex one at first. We'll give this a flex one not to add flex in this form right here. So give this a flex one. And we'll also give this a uh, apply not. So, outline on a BG transparent because I don't want to add any color. And that will be all. And right after the input, we'll be adding a button. And in this button, this button will have an image tab. And the SRC to this image tab will be icon slash Ronald slash S E R A R C H. That's SVG. Let's take a look at what we are working with. Now this is it. We still have some little text to add here and there. In this button, we'll give this button a class. I was going to give this a padding all round of eight pixels or width of thirty five pixels. Like height of thirty five pixels of there. And we'll go to the font component. That means the parent of all the inputs there. I'll give this a uh, a BG. Once again, some background or ash one f two e three six. This six, very six, just like that. I just have to see we have this nice um, color. What else we want to add here? We also want to add tell this that one is to the focus within to give us a border. So every time I focus on the input or in the input, we have a border just like that. So I we also want to change the color of that border in focus see. Focus within border again, and this time add those word bracket because only are the color, and the color is B six A O E A. So that would be B six A O or zero. I mean E A is the color we're looking for, and we want to make this width to be, let's say, 40%, so we just add the 40%, and the one it takes to the small, we also want items to the center, since we added a flex here, also add the padding of left and right, though. 12 pixels, and one, yeah, corners to be rounded, so we'll say rounded, extra large, just like that, you can see the inputs, Right here. 
So let's let's continue. So we we'll move on to the links, like the sign in and sign up buttons. So we'll come after this one. We we'll have the div. In this div, we have three buttons. So the first, so I can just use M MX as a three main base. This should pop out three different buttons here. And Conion separate to your memory this. In the first one, would have an image of a Rondo Sash. Now this Rondo Sash is going to be for when the app is on mobile. We want to show that little Rondo Sash icon instead of this whole large form icon. So I'll show you guys how to talk about in a minute. So in this first button, I'm just going to have an image. And in this image, the SRC would be icons, rumble, slash, that's SVG. And what I'm going to give in this button class is, I'm going to say, what does it does to a mid, mid, um, medium screen size? I want this to become the screen on top the medium. And just give it some, the first stars here, say P2. Wait, just like the last time of 35 pixels. I touched 35 pixels as well. 35 pixels. And that'll be all. Now, if I go here, you see that we don't actually see anything here. But once we reduce our screen size, it's this. Sorry, I had the typo. I said rumble dash instead of rumble search, and I did it fixed. But as you can see, we have the uh, search icon here. But as we increase the screen, that search icon should disappear. And it should appear back here. So we want this search icon to replace this search input. So what we we'll do is come to this um, font right here. The font for the input, and we'll just say eating. And you know, any day we watch it reflects, this should work perfectly now. Mobile PC just a search icon, and as we, we increase the screen, the search icon disappears, and we have this input. So this is actually perfection. So let's continue. That's the reason why I added it, just for so it starts it. In the second button would be uh, a sign in button. And the third one will be a sign on button. So let's say sign in. Third one is going to be sign up. So instead of adding the class in the gate, um, what I'm going to do is so that we can make the class reusable. I'll show you guys how to do this. So I'll just add the class and I'll say BTN. And in the second button, I'll say class. BTN and then BTN outline. So now what I'll do is I'll go to our app.css and this app.css because I want to add some sort of reusable style component switch something. I'll add a layer and then I'll say components. And the first one is going to be your uh, BTN. And I'll just add an apply so I can add my thingy. The first one is going to be capitalized. Right here. I want the text to be small. I want the text to be white. I want the corners of the buttons to be rounded. And I'll get this around there though. Let's see one forty pixels. I also get this a uh, fonts width. So I'll see fonts semi bold. Now semi bold is six hundred. And I also want this to be transparent. So I'll see BG transparent, just like that. I'll give this a uh, padding of top and bottom of 
7 pixels and I'll give this a padding of left and right of 10 pixels. So now we want to make things responsive. So I'm going to start tackling um, last screen size and small screen size. But before we do that, let's check out the results. As you can see, no much, but well, we can see that it, that it surely has patterns and some other things added. State downloads, white text, and some other things. So what I'm going to do is that this right now is only targeting small screens. I want to ask style that targets for large screens. So I'm going to say from SM, let me strong SM and above from the, I believe it's six, is it six or 50? 640 and minimum width of 640 and above. I want the paddle of top and bottom to be 12 pixels and not 7 pixels. And I want the, I'll do SM again. The left and right this time to be 18 pixels. Now, I want that when you over it, the background changes. So I'll say over BG would be equal to ash 1 a 2 a 3 7 just like that now let's check it and i over it we have this nice gray color sheen on it nice now we also want to do um because of this side up is going to have an outline so once we have the style for the btn outline i mean we don't have Okay, so so we'll save dot btn outline. Be just like that. We we'll have the same apply. Sorry, at apply. And now we'll start up adding our outlines. So we'll see <laughs> our outlines. So we'll say outline, then we we'll say outline of two. Because the water will be a bit thick and they allow give the outline the color. You see, outline of let's see 85C742. 85C742. So this is the color I'm going to give it. And let's check it out again. We have the outline right here. And we will wear it. Give us what we want. So just like that. We are done with the air that you see we're out of our policy because of this stage. Now we're going to tackle the sidebar together. One thing I want you to notice is that the sidebar is not going to be in the layout because it's not going to be in the um in every page. It's only called in the on the on page. It's not going to be on the video player stage or any other page. So we'll be instead of putting the sidebar um inside yeah like we put the header we'll put this in yeah so let's remove all this i let's add but then here we would be creating a different company for the sidebar box we need to add a few things here to prepare our sidebar before it comes so first thing a flex a maximum width of on 700 pixels at the closing brackets would we'll say um mx auto and the width to be full and in here is there with four inside right here is all pop up sidebar so I got the component I've created sidebar components let's say yes side but that's Fail to S D E L C E like that. All right, guys, let's pick up the piece. We spent about 30 minutes already. Yes, start going. Okay, yeah, we're going to have a now. And in this now, we start with a class. So we give this a width of um, 80 pixels. 
Um, let's give this a sex because I want to text with the things here. Set is going to be F3, F5, F8. Just like that. I'll also give this a background so we can visualize this right here right now. I'm going to say BG of Ash 1E2837. Let's look at this and see what we have. Um, nothing is showing here, which actually makes sense because of we've not given this an height. So let's say height of string. Use that the night of screen like that and let's continue. Now where we add since it would actually um start to show little by little. Oh the main reason it's not showing is it's because we've not imported it in this page. Funny move. So let's put this last sidebar. Now no, we imported it inside of us our page. Sidebar we put it inside in our page. It shows here now. So let's continue. So now that we've added a meat, we've added a banner color as well. What we want to add here is uh tell it that we want it to be fixed it's because we don't want the sidebar to move as we scroll the page. So we'll say fixed. That'll be position of fixed and say top would give the top is going to be the height of the screen so that it will start from the bottom of the header, I mean, the top is going to be the height of the header. So it's going to start right after the header and the side of the start. Because right now, if I had, uh, if I had sex here, I get by having a run, you'll see that it really starts from the top here, on the right of, of the beginning. Let me um, go to the header and add it opacity. And just see, slash them. I'm not possible to that. And now you see that the, the header is sort of transparent, but you see that the learn up starts on the very top of the browser. So we want to make that top value, the value of this height. So if I say top 70 pixels, just like that, it pops down and the learn starts from the ending of the header. So let's continue. After adding it to, we just want to add the left because it's strange out. Left of the server. And that will be all for now. What other thing we can add here is I tell it our mobile wants to be easy. And then when we get to desktop, we can show it. See block. We'll remove this that I'm right here. I'll we'll continue. Next thing we'll do is add the uh, div. So we'll say div. And in this div, we'll have a couple of it tags. Now, this are going to be the icons and the own, the picture, and other stuff. So I'll add click one. So in installed, then we want to add links. We don't use, um, we don't import a link component or something like that. We just Use the eight side the name we use normal HTML. So I'll just say A like this and H like that. And inside the eight side as well, an image and the spawn. Spawn tag. The source of the image is going to be icons slash oh my god. Dot SVG. I will give this a class because right now it's going to show, but it's a bit not um, the size and that's what we want it to be. So we'll say width of six and the height of six as well. Now it's a bit larger and we like it. I'm going put in this inside this span, you can see boom. Oh, I'm giving this a class text 10 pixels like that so let's look at it 
this is a common one, but what it's right in the middle of this um, sidebar. So it looks nice. So we'll go to the A tag, put a class in the A tag and start making this look good. First, we want to flex, then we want to padding up top and bottom of 2.5. So we'll remove this bracket here. And what this 2.5 means is uh, 10 pixels. So we'll continue. Say so when we over it, we want to BD of 1 F2 E3C F2 E3C. Now, since we have a fledge, I mean, there's a gap of two, it also gives an item center, and we'll take a look at its item center. Now, when we look back at it, you see that it's, it's not really the yet, it's somebody really wanted to be. Oh, that's because we're not done yet. We can come here and we can add a flex of color. Let's say our um, flex cool. And we can also put this eight tag from here to under the span. Because one is eight to cover up both the image and the span. That should explain why we had a little fun uh -huh, now. This is a cool one, and um, when we over it, you can see that we have a little color change right there. So what we want to do is to copy this and add this a couple of times. Because we also want this. So we'll copy this here. Copy key. And we'll paste twice. That's supposed to be three times. One, two, three. So the all their links, so all their issues are going to be the same. The only thing that's going to change is the icon and the spot. So the icon here is going to be latest icon. I'll have in our latest. The third one is going to be the peaks icon. So we can actually just copy this here and say the peaks. The fourth one is going to be trending I will say copy this yeah I'd say trending let's take a look at these just like that we have this lines sidebar so let's need the sidebar that we're done with sidebar now now let's focus on this page itself Let's add the features section and let's add card section as well. One thing you would notice now is if I um if I minimize our screen, you would see that it's going to be very responsive because we've been having responsivity in mind of the while building page. So when I expand it, you see that it's very responsive. Okay, let's continue. So after the sidebar, we're going to have another. And this is that again, this tip is going to be where the main contents will be for the home page. So we're going to have a couple of tests in this home page. We're going to have first a subheader. So subheader. Then we'll have our featured section. Then we'll have the live categories. And then we have the media section. So as I outlined that for you, you will first start with software. So we'll create a component called software inside our component folder. So say so and that dot cells. Let's go back first and we import that just like that. But well, once now I'm just going to do that if I come here and I write H1 sub editor and I go, you'll see that it shows the anymore while we could so that sidebar, but once I increase it, it doesn't show anymore. The reason why it doesn't show anymore is because the sidebar is covering it. A good way for us to treat that is to just add a margin of 
Imagine leads of the weeks of December went to last spring. I can just come here to class. Imagine leads. And the width of the sidebar was 80 pixels. So we can say margin length of 80 pixels. I check it out and it shows the sub header. But now if I reduce the screen size, you still have this margin length there. We don't want the margin length to be there on mobile. So we just have that MD and LG because it's an LG that will make the Side by the sapphire. So we'll say LG are they left. Nice. And one other thing you have noticed that we did not spell edit correctly. So you guys I'm getting used to this by now. Very terrible at spelling. So we'll say edit. The changes here as well. That will come to the continent itself and change. The edit. So I'll see. The share. So sub header like that and this should fix itself or not is that fix itself and it works properly so let's go on to build our sub error components but before we continue i want to add the few next one this thing here we need that i want this to take um maximum space as much as it can well after, right after the side where i was taking the space it once i want this like i want this other company to take as much space as there is possible and that's why i added this best one here so now i'll go to my survey that now let's build this survey there so let's remove this h1 <laughs> sorry i will add a div and in this div would have a class Couple of tests. First one, the height to be 60 pixels. 60 pixels. We want this to be 60. We want this to be visible and below other things. So say Z in Z50. And we want to give this a top of, if you remember, just very similar to all this in the sidebar because one is to come right after the header. We'll give this a top of. The height of the header and the height of the header, if you remember, was if I go to the sidebar, the height of the header was 70 pixels, so it means the top of 70 pixels as well. So we'll say top 70 pixels, we'll give this a flex, we'll say item center, and we'll also give this a background of. One zero two one to F. So say ashes and then one zero two one two X. We'll tell this one this white space no wrap because I don't want that wrap. So I'll say white space no wrap. We can give this a graph of five. I can give this a padding that of twenty eight fixes. Now inside of this, I'm going to have this particular sort of button, but I would use an uh, a tag because of on the rumble itself, this is a link. So a tag is the most appropriate. And in this a tag would have um peaks. Just like that. Now let's get a tag style. Let's style it a little bit. First, we'll say font the padding left and right to be six pixels. So we'll say six pixels. And when we over read, we want a background. So we'll say over BG. And this will be hashtag and D six times or three times. Three times or six times works. And like I say, capitalized. And I want when I over the um, button or this tag, I want the text color to change. So I'll say over, or oh, I don't need over text. 
I'll give you this uh, hash 0A1725. 0A1725, just like that. And I'll see it on a normal day. I want the text to be XM and on a normal day. I want the background to be hash 222A3A. I'll be hash 222A3A. Alright, let's, let's look at what we are building. This is it right here. Looks pretty nasty. Let's jump on. One wing is rounded. I will be rounded. One is not provided by two wing. So I have to add a custom. I will say 28 pixels. But I'm not done yet because I want to, want to add a padding left or right of 14 pixels as well. So let's look at this and we have this right here now. But what I want us to do is to add a couple of these multiple tiles. So say copy and paste this, 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 this as well. And let's see. Now we have this PD here and we have these um, peaks showing up like this. So one disadvantage here is that we have to keep adding, if we want to have these peaks to the end, we need to have to just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. One nice thing we can do is that we can just look over this um it's a, a certain number of times and show it. We can have an object up here and write the values and then look over that um, array. But since we don't have any reasonable reason to because we don't have any they all have the same name and all that we can just use on um, Dumb data on no data at all, but still looking through it a certain amount of time. So, the way we create a loop is built in by using the each block. So, we do that first. Let me get this out of the way and bring my curly braces. And I'll say ash and then each e a c h. And then if I say it's already auto complete, I said each. Um, if I say each icons or each five each items as item and then i can come right inside there and put my div here i'll say item and this will loop over this items in this items will be read up read it loop over that this items and it should pop the value of items inside this div and that should most likely be a string because of the way that I constructed this. But we wouldn't, they don't have any items, anything. So we're not using items or anything like that. We'll just use the trick here. We'll say length. We'll have on um, quality braces first. And we'll say length 25 because I want 25 of that. And I'll say as item and inside here, I'll just pop that a tag. And just like that, we'll add that. Um, without that button look multiple times but if you can see that it's not more responsive because of, I have this um, slider or scroll up at the bottom so we, we imported it one too many times but we can just leave this and fix this in the format that I was showing very soon so I will just go to the page here and in this page I will have the overflow of clip right like that and as you can see the bottom spill has disappeared and this can overflow now if one let's create a slider or add time to create a slider we just need this a slider and we can scroll yeah we can probably add buttons we we'll click on them but no time for that what i want us to do now to go to our app the series and make some few changes there are some few things that we should have done in the beginning that we didn't do but nevertheless, we can see them now. So we can add the layer of piece, just so we add the layer of components. I just like to add this few things because they make my app a lot nicer. So I can add an H, T, N, L, or then I can also say, 
body. Found the self in each human body, but in this layer, I'll say on the utilities. So with that, I'll apply. And I can say scrolls, smooth so many scrolls. It's smooth scrolling. I want the text to be a different color of D6EOPA. That me. D6 E very E A. And I want the background, the default background to be BG and then Ash 10212F. Ash 10212F. And that's pretty much all. So let's go back. And also let's check. Now we've seen the background has changed. There's a couple of things. Well, let's, let's keep going. What's next here is the feature section. So we'll just add featured. First, let's split components. So there are many errors. I'll say F E A C U R E D. I will put in this belly. Put the to sleep. I'm studying English. And I've said this is the feature is HD feature section. F. I mean, yeah, can I equal to that? Just like that. Check my browser. Did you see, this is the feature section. Now let's add the feature section. We'll give this a D. This did have a class. PY bias or BTL. Ash zero six one seven two six. Okay, this is a padding left and right of seven. We give this a flex of wrap. Was very similar to flex, and then we we'll say graph of six. I will say it on the ladder screen, we want the graph to be of twelve, and I think center of the way. We love our item center. Then I thought that would get to another deal, and this deal would have a class of well, um, on the small screen wants to flex of one. So the S from 640 and are both reads one of the effects of one. And this will just have an image. And this image will have images, not icon, images. So that'll be I M A G S slash crowd that assign reads. Crowd dot JPG. This will be an image of I believe this is um crowd uh, I forgot his name, I'm not really into it. But I know that it's a popular conservative. Alright, with a popular conservation, that's how I know. I'm not really, I'm not American, so I don't really know all that stuff. Okay. We have um class, yeah. And this is getting it to two. If I will say three, two, eight pixels, that's the eight ones, and then we'll see it all weeks of full rounded a little Excel border of. Now this is that pink, little pink border we have, it should be F two three one six zero. I will say also want the border to be three pixels. Just like that, let's start this now. 
Aha, we have this bubble fix need. It's all ugly and as we have seen there. Nice soon. And let's move out of here. Let's go to click on that thief. This is goes out of flex of one, so it's a class flex of one. It is a P. In this P we have a text that says teach out. So say N F E H U R E D. It's a lot of class. Let's go out of class. Text of it's it's a o b a zero b m. I always mix o and zero, and they have a matching bots on. Of twelve pixels like that. I thought this p would have an h three. This h three would have a couple of text, so we can just add a variant. I remove some parts the way it got I just mean like that. I'm gonna give this H3 from class name as well. We'll see text 22 pixels. That's how I want the text to be. We'll see leading, which is line light. Leading at seven. On uh, the last screen, one the text to be 26 pixels. And on the large screen, we also want to change the leading to 30 pixels. So we'll say LG. Pixels. I will get this a point of semi board. Remember that is sixteen six hundred as a font weight weight of six hundred. Get this imagine button of tap fixes. I will give this a text color. So six six or D six E Z E E. E, there, E, E. Just like that, and let's check it out. But as you can see, that when it's decided to come, it's decided to take shape. It's like little by little like that. We're making progress. So after this H3, after this H3, we have a D, and then the D will now, for the D, we have a class of text. It's stress more to div would have a class this flex item center and then gap of one. So what you are building now is a little verification thing right under this um title where we have the Channel's name and some other things. So first of all, the name. So his name is Steven Crowder. And without want to add verification icon. So we we'll say icons very. Verified IND icon that's SVG, and then we want to just add some terminal views. So set P seven prime K views just by now. We have this, but we have some issues there, so we don't want it to look like this. Which are the few things now. So what I'm just a little do here yeah, is actually not add anything but move things on some much on that. So they will we'll move this T yeah. From here we'll move it down. So now it takes the beautiful shape that we want it to. That's one way. 
So the next bus to build this left category, so I was in this page here. So we just had it here. Life category as well. Remember, let's get the components of so I'm saying life C glory dots salts I might say life that's going just like this. Go back to it and we'll have a thief and in then thief then they will have a class. This class will be PX twenty eight. Let's hit fixes. PY. 25 pixels. Let's have a font of bold. Font bold. Inside this DM, without another H2, without our H2, and this H2 without a text that says live categories. This is to well class added to it. Say text or twenty two pixels. In this imagine button of fourteen pixels. And get me this capitalized. Right under this H2. Whatever another D well when up the life categories card. So see if they, if they would have a class. Now say flex. Saying I accept center. Gap of 14 pixels. Overflow of E day. Just like that. And inside here we'll put a life categories card. But this life category card is going to be a component as well. So come to the components folder. And add a component called like cutting coring card. Just start. We put this right here. Just so cover this here. I want to go back to the left card calling that card dot start. This is a little bit Relatively simple components. I'm not even sure why I extracted it out to its own component, but I see it going. I would be if this thing would have to tense first have an image and then on top of pizza. The image is going to be this part. Images slash parts part dot jpg. And it will have a few classes. So would say just rounded LG to just one, not a Q. Rounded LG and this T would have a text of just shut in. Let's do by this in the browser. Let's be able to that category here. I may have been just shutting. It says that this added here. But well, you notice that this, um, Images caps card is not showing. Well, let's fix that by adding some. Let's just add some caps to this bit that box. We'll say class save fonts. Bold. One is capitalized. So it's be extra small and they have MD text and go back to the base. And the margin top of night pixel as well. So the reason why the image was not showing because it said cut card with the capital letter. But well, it's cut card with small letter. So see, it can be small letter. So say I'll um, change that to cut card. And now it should show. So we have this large um, image right here. Let's see good. So we'll go back to our 
Life categories and we'll add these a few times. First, we'll add this and we'll add this a few times. Let's check it. So now, as you can see, they can be added at a few times. Add it fix itself and the flow. Now, we've done the life categories, we've done this section. The last section for this part of the series is going to be the video card series. So let's get that one done as well. So I'll go to the page, the plus page that's built. And I'll, in this component, but I'll add the video section. Found. Built. Sort. And I'll import this right here. Just like that. And inside of this video section, I'll paste this. Now you might not understand what is happening here, but I'm explaining it. First of all, I'm going to create the video card component and I'm going to do that loop thing that we did at line sign. That is the length of it and as as anything, you can name this L, you can name this item, anything. I'm going to loop through it, this card that I've not created, but it's very soon. And when I look through that card, it's time to reflect. And in the card's um, parents component, I have a grid. And this grid has a grid column of one on a small screen. And when the screen goes to 6, 40 pixels, it has a column of two. When it gets to 7, 6, 8 pixels, it has a column of three. And when it gets to LG, it has a column of four. And all around, they have a gap of 24 pixels. And we have this view all here. This view all is just a button. And as you can see, the button just has a few classes. They are very similar to the button component we created in uh, in what they call it in tailing now tailing style in our CSS or so what I'll do first is create this card component. So I'll create a component called video card. Dot felt just like that, and then in it I'll paste this as well. So I'm gonna explain again. I have the script tag, and in this script tag I'm taking props. Now, if you don't know props, if they are basically properties that we can get from the outside inside this component. In if you come from React, you know that you can just add it, add them inside the parentheses of the function. But it's thought you have very various things that actually will get used to very very quick. But so a new beginner and very weird. We have this exports and then we have this let or whatever. We have exports and then we'll define the variable. And then we'll put we can actually just have this like this. No type to here like this. And I can see how this to be string because I have test to getting that screen right now. And in my script suddenly I'll see long is equals to TS and if I go to my um if I go to the web app you see that we don't actually have anything showing now but if I go to my video section we're having an error somewhere let's think that error let's say video card let's import things from here where's the trace of sort of error saying title is missing and that's because of this property here is needed. So we have export let type to and um, say that should be extreme. So if I come here and I say type to and I say but it's supposed to be a string, I put a string and I say this is the type to and it should shut up now and it should show those components. Which I would say saying this is the title. The reason why it's not screaming for this the rest of this because we have default um values there. So we added default values. So it won't scream. So basically the rest of the whole thing is just styles. And we can add the properties by using this quality braces. So I add the title with the quality braces here. And it reflects there. So the Latin actually means foot up with the foot in the next section when we are building the video player as well. So we'll start off with the footer there. Thank you all for watching to this point. I know my audio is not the best. I know my responsiveness is not the best, but I hope you guys are able to get 
the point and I need to get value from this. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.